All right, today I'm going to talk about Ridge Road Liquors. This is a store right down the street from me, right on Ridge Road. Um, find out the stuff I got from there and what you can find inside of Ridge Road Liquors. Stay tuned. Well, I'd like to say this is kind of where things really started going crazy for us. I think it was a day, November 22, after church, Deb and I went in there. And if you go in Ridge Road Liquors, to your left is a counter where the register is. The counter spans the length of the building. And that's where they're going to have all their liquor. The rest of the space where you walk around is pretty much um, wine and other things besides liquor. All the way to the back of the store is where they have bourbon. We've been in there a few times. I don't know up to that point if we had bought anything. And we were looking. Now, in the middle is where they have tequila and stuff. And as we're leaving and we're talking, I notice in the tequila section, top shelf, back, hidden back behind some tequila bottles, there was a ornate box. And I was curious, now it's not in the bourbon section, what was it? He pulled it down for us and that's what it was. So we really knew nothing at the time. Angels Envy 2022 cast strength. <clears throat> we really haven't been, oh, let's say hunting or, you know, aware of allocations and uh, pricing. It was new to us, right? So, you, you know, November 2022, right around there, the amount we've collected since then is amazing we didn't buy it on the spot we went home we talked about it deb really wanted it now i don't recall what the price was i want to say two and a quarter to 30 uh, it was expensive and now that i reflect on it that's probably what the going rate was right that's what it is currently now in 2023 and you don't get that beautiful box so that might have been our first what we thought prized possession was and it took us over a year to drink it i'll put the link to that video in the description when we drank it so i don't think i was with deb we might have saw this together. The next bottle we got from there was probably December, January, a couple months later. We saw this. And at first I'm like, no, we're not going to get it. I don't want to spend that much money on it. Whatever. <clears throat> I must have sent Deb a text while I'm at work. Go ahead and get it. So she got that one for $170. She would have gotten it cheaper if she would have had cash on her. I think uh, it would have been $155 or $160. So he does get allocations in. Lately, they've been far and few between. I've gotten some really good bottles there. Um, but if you go there, you're going to see some dusty old bottles there for example how many times have you seen a russell's 10 bottle that looked like this now this will be in the video you're going to see it i think this is like 35 36 dollars i'm pretty sure it's a sub 40 dollar bottle the bourbon in his store the regular shelf stuff doesn't move it is a function of the area. So the stuff sits on his shelves. And it'll sit on the shelves for a few years. And the prices are 
for what, you know, he bought it a few years ago. So you can find some older stuff there, priced reasonably. I have one regret. I had told someone about this uh, Penelope that, that they were looking for, and I'm going to say it wrong. It's T-O-K-A-G-A-J-I. I think it's Tokai finished. I wish I would have grabbed that for myself. So you can go in there and find some dusty old bottles, reasonably priced. Uh, allocations, those are far and few between. The guy you want to talk to, his name is KP. Uh, he's not the owner, but he's the owner's son. So go in his store, check out what he has on the shelf. These are bottles that everyday drinker, drinkers want. And they're going to be old and dusty, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. Buy some stuff from him. Tell him I sent you. Okay, so I'm going to show you a video of what he has on the shelves. And you'll be able to see uh, the pricing he has for these bottles too. I hope you enjoy the video. Leave a comment below on anything that you see that you thought was interesting or reasonably priced. Thank you. You can get the Sinatra for under 200. That's not too bad of a deal, but that really doesn't interest me too much. I think that's a Jefferson's up there. Basil Hayden under wraps. Don't know why. I have to research those Discovery series. I'm not sure which ones they are. And they look like there was something back there, too. I'll have to take a look at. You got some scotches. I'm sure there's nothing really too exciting here. Uh, not really into the uh, Irish whiskeys, some Crown Royal stuff. Uh, Buffalo Trace, that's a little bit steep. I'll go across the border and get it if I want to. That's a good price on that Russell's 10 for $37. And then you got your Beam products. Some High West and Knob Creek. Again, that's not going to interest me really. Hudson Valley, New York, Hudson Whiskey, New York. Uh, that Whistle Pig. That's right around MSRP, that summer stock. You got your mixers, let's call it, right there. Your fireball. Jack Daniels, something that, you know, your everyday person's going to want. <clears throat> Some scotch. That looks reasonably priced, but it's probably not too exciting. That McKenna over there for $60 is decently priced. Those Bib and Tuckers are really nice prices on those. The Batch Proof I like for $17.92. That's a good price. Sazerac. And you got some flavored stuff down here, which is all right. Some Uncle Nearest. Woodford Reserve. And you got some Heaven's Door down there and a Baker 7, which is reasonably priced. Smash the like, oh, smash the like button. button. Leave a comment below and subscribe. <laughs> and subscribe.